What's up, everybody? Thanks for tuning in. My name's Mike, and this is All Things Fish, and I hope you're having a pleasant summer and everything's going well for you by now. A lot of people probably have tubs set up, you've hit some swap meets, you got some new acquisitions, maybe you're even starting to breed some stuff. Um, but maybe you're busy, and tank maintenance has kind of gone by the wayside a little bit. Now, part of tank maintenance is maintaining our equipment. That's everything from lights up here, making sure your covers are cleaned off because you paid a good bit of money, right, for a fancy light. Uh, why lose a bunch of that light? Just because you got a dirty cover. So from splashing or dust or whatever, um, to clean those lights off, make sure your heaters are functioning normal, make sure your filters are up to par. Um, now along the lines of filters, this is the 125 that you guys have seen in a lot of my videos. Now you guys know that this tank runs off of two Aquatop CF500 UV filters. Um, I did purchase this tank used, including the filters themselves, which means that the UV bulbs within the filter are also quite old. Now, a lot of people recommend different time periods. Um, I personally don't know the exact number as to when a UV bulb loses its effectiveness, um, other than when it completely burns out. But I do know that one of the bulbs in here is indeed burnt out. And you can kind of tell that because on the top of the filter by the switch is actually a plastic grid piece that you can kind of see the glow from the filter on when it's running. So, since one of them is bad, we're going to go ahead and replace both bulbs. Now this is a perfect 9 watt UV Aquatop. Um, seems like a lot of the bulbs are fairly generic, they'll fit in a lot of different things. Um, I think I picked these up for something like 9 bucks a piece on Amazon. Now that's pretty cheap. Now there's a lot of reasons why you would run a UV filter or UV sterilizer in your tank. Um, one might be you have a green water problem. Sometimes you just like to keep some of those uh, potential, uh, you know, free floating bacteria and whatnot at bay a little bit to help avoid infections. Now, whatever your reason may be, those filters and the lights need to be taken care of, and that's what we're going to do today. So follow along and let's make it happen. All right, folks. Well, here's the 125, but before we can make the magic happen with the filter, we need to remove the filter from the tank. So let's start with that. Again, we're gonna dig down into the stand here. Boom, there's one of our filters, and we'll like, perform the same exact process on the other one, so I'm only gonna show it to you once. Now, I've already shut the filter off. Um, so first things first, when you get down here, if your filter's still running, you'll uh, find this valve close, or open, rather, so that water can flow freely through the canister. So now, while the canister is powered up, you wanna close this valve, which, closes each of the valves on the input and output tubes, keeping that water in there so you don't have to prime the tubes. After that valve is closed, disconnect your power. Now this thing is shut off. Now it's safe to remove our hoses. And then we'll take this filter somewhere where we can take care of it. And this is a, again, Octop CF500. Same concept supply. Go ahead and open up your canister filter. The, again, this is the Aquatop CF500 UV. There's your UV bulb. All right, we've got our filter all open up. And you can see the actual UV light here. And there's a small plastic housing on it that keeps it watertight. So this little housing will twist until you see the tabs inside a line. And then just give it a gentle wiggle. It's just plastic, so be careful with it. You don't want to break it. That would like water to get into the bulb area. Now you have access to the bulb. The bulb itself, easy enough. This pops right out. Here you can see the old bulb compared to our new bulb. Nice difference, same size, should fit, no problem. So we'll discard the old one. With the new one, we'll just slide right in, no problem. Then we'll take our housing. Slide our housing over the top, make sure those tabs are lined up with the channels. Push it in as far as you can, remember gently so you don't break anything. And then that'll twist, and that twist is what seats that in there and seals it up. Now you've got the new bulb installed. Go ahead, flip our lid, make sure everything's lined up. Seat the lid. Close our latches. Closed up, now we're ready to put it back on the tank. All right, so we're all closed up, it's ready to go back on the tank. 
but if you'd like to double check to make sure that your work worked, you can go ahead and dim the lights. You can remove the cover for the switch. You can plug it in, and then if you hit the switch, there's a small plastic, almost like a sight window here, that you'll be able to see a faint purple glow through. If you hit the switch, that glow comes on, you're good to go. So, if everything's all set, go ahead, unplug it, replace your cover, and let's get it back on the tank. All right, now water change is complete. We successfully swapped the bulb in our Aquatop CF500 UV canister filter. Let's go ahead and hook it back up. Down the cabinet, input output hose back in there, make sure it's seated. Close the valve. Let's go ahead and plug her in. And once again, hit the switch. Turn it on. And to verify that it's functioning, there's again that little sight window there. Get a faint purple glow from. There you go. She's running. And as you can see, away she goes. All right, folks, that's it. Not a whole lot to it. Uh, really can't go wrong anywhere. I'd say the biggest part to pay attention to is making sure that that cover seats tight and seals up over the bulb so you don't get any water leaking in there, giving you any electrical problems. If you have any questions, feel free to message me. Um, I'll see if I can find a link for the bulbs that I used and I'll drop it down in the below. It's not a paid advertisement, nothing like that. Um, I like again, I used the 9 watt perfect UV bulb uh, and that was an Aquatop CF500 UV filter. Easy enough. Uh, go ahead and disconnect the filter, open it up to a place that uh, you can clean it out ideally. Um, I swapped the bulbs out while I was doing a water change and cleaning the filter out anyway, so it was. It was quick, easy work. I already had the canister open, media was removed and everything. Uh, yeah, easy enough. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Uh, my email is down below, mike.allthingsfish at gmail.com. You can find me on Facebook. Uh, easiest way to find me on Facebook is in the Get Heels Facebook group. So if you're not a member, go ahead and make a request. Otherwise, as always, feel free to email me with any questions you have. Now, I'm gonna try to get back to work, catching up on things down here in the fish room. And until next time, thanks for tuning in. This is Mike from All Things Fish, and have a great day.